Alright. The brother said you can't call no one good. Alright, let's give me Matthew 20 Matthew 19, 27. <laughs> Yeah, Matthew 19, 27. I'm read Matthew chapter 19, verse 27. <laughs> then the Lord of this of that servant was moved with the, sorry, mm -hmm. Matthew 19, verse 27. Come on. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. In Matthew 19, 27, brother? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, we are forsaken all and follow deep. Yeah. That's, that's the right one? Yeah. Say, uh, don't call no one good. You find that one for me on the call? Matthew 19 and 17. All right, to what? And he said unto him, right. Why callest thou me good? Uh huh. There is one good, but one that is God, or Yahweh. That's right. Actually, Yahweh was good. Okay, but he was referring to when he was Solomon, because Solomon went off. And started worshiping the gods <laughs> of the woman. You know, he fell in love with her. Okay, so now when you look at the word good there, it goes back to agathos, which means excellent, honorable, upright. Okay? Agathos, excellent, honorable, upright. Now somebody give me Psalms 37, verse 23. Yeah, bro, you ain't word study about writing it down. You can write it down right after this video. Psalms 37. Verse 23. Verse 23. Come on. It's the steps of a good man. The steps of a what? A good man. You have a brother Barah so you can't call nobody good. But what the scripture right here says? The steps of a good man. The are steps ordered. of a good man. Go ahead. Are ordered by the Lord. This order by what? The Lord. By the Lord. And he delighted in his way. And he delighted in his way. So, brothers and sisters, <laughs> you know work, the word good showed up 83 times in the Bible? And a lot of them has different meanings. Now the word good there, what he just read, it goes back to H1397. Harvir, or Garvir. You know what that means? It means warrior, ability to fight. So when we out there in the trenches, we are soldiers. We have the ability to fight because we have what? We have this knowledge. So that word good is different from what he just read in Matthew 19, 17. So what you had read? Psalms 37, 23. So let's go to Psalms 37, verse 27. So like a lot of church coons, they take for what they see on the surface, but they don't dig beneath the surface. They don't dig. <laughs> That's why they have scales over their eyes, man. That's why they lost. And that's what I love about the elders, because they teach you to get in that blue letter. Dig deep, man. Do research. Because you got the label in this truth. Psalms 37 verse 20. 27. 27. Come on. Depart from evil and do good. It said what? Depart from evil and do good. It said depart from evil and do good. You got more on that verse? And dwell forevermore. So that word goes back to H2896. The Yiddish is saying Tav. But the proper word is Tawab. Okay, so now when you look up that word, it means good understanding of men intellectual nature. So it means what intellectual nature, man? Read that one more time, brother. Psalms 37 and, 20, and 37 and 27. Come on, depart from evil and do good. It said, Depart from evil and do good, and dwell forevermore, and dwell forevermore, man. In other words, get that good understanding of these scriptures man do good stay in this word right here man okay so beautiful so now going back to first timothy 6 19 it say laying up in store for themselves a good foundation now yasharala we're gonna look up the word foundation it goes back to g uh, the, the, the the number they got for it is g2310 so we go into that page Timilius. What is it, brother? Timilius. Come on. Lay down as a foundation. Mm. The foundation of the building, <laughs> wall, city. That's right. And then it say, upon this rock, no one is going to prevail against it. Yeah. 
That's what the scriptures say, man. This is a building, this is a war, man. All the brothers that's pushing the truth, all the GMS brothers and brothers that are affiliated with GMS, that's that building, man, that the Most High is building up. Go ahead, I. The foundation, beginning, first principle of institution and system of truth. Ooh, the institution of what? System of truth. That's what the word foundation means. It means an institution of the of, of system of truth. Because we never get confounded out here in the highways and byways. All the brothers that's pushing this truth in the highways and byways. You can't confound the men of the Lord. Starting with your high wire, your high shy, our elders, and going down, man. Right? Because this is the what? This is a system of truth. Name of this video, once again, is GMS Institution System of Truth. I'll read that last part again. I'm going to pause raise with that. Yeah, go ahead, all right? Lay down as a foundation, Come on. the foundation of a building, wall, city. Mm -hmm. The foundation, beginning. Mm, beginning, huh? Go ahead. First principle mm. of institution or system of truth. System of truth. And that system of truth, it starts with the name. I'm going to prove it to you. Give me 2 Timothy 2, 19, huh? 2 Timothy 2, verse 19. <laughs> Okay, they say prove all things. That's right, brother. Yeah, go ahead. What you got, brother? It says 2 Timothy 2 and 19. Come on! It says, nevertheless, the foundation of Yahweh mm. standeth sure. Come on! Having this seal, Yahweh knoweth them that are his. They are his. Yeah, so Yahweh know who is his, man. Okay. Yeah. So we don't want to talk Nevertheless, mm -hmm. the foundation of Yahweh standeth sure. That's right, brother. Having this seal, Yahweh knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that name it name who? That name it. Come on. The name of Mashiach uh -huh. part from iniquity. And part from iniquity. It starts with their name. Yahweh why Yahweh Shah. And once you receive that name, guess what? Those, those mysteries is going to be unlocked to you. It's going to be given to you. Because the code is the name. All right? Give me 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 15. 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 15. 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 15. Go ahead. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or epistle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or epistle. That's or right. Our epistle. So, whatever your brothers learned in the beginning, man, that's that foundation, man. <coughs> don't, don't go start just because the elders reproof you. Now all of a sudden you hate the elders, now you want to change the doctrine? Like you, Isar. You're going off, brother. You're going off, man. <laughs> I, 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 just, I just can't see myself doing videos coming against the elders because if you, a person I got exposed. Matter of fact, you must appreciate those brothers even more. Because that's the love of your high wire, your high huh? Right. Right. Because he's purging you. Matter of fact, I'm going to prove it. Give me um, Revelation 3, verse 19. It said, prove all things. That means Yahweh loves you if the Most High used the elders to cut the hell out of, out of you. You're supposed to love them even more. And it said, open rebuke is better than what? Secret love. Secret love. Go ahead, what you got, brother? Revelation 3 and 19. Come on. As many as I love, Come on. I rebuke and chasten. And a lot of young brothers, they don't understand that, man. You've been cast out of GMS. You've been cast. <laughs> That's that love. He's reproofing you. Read it one more time, brother. That means you how you how should I love that man that got exposed? But he just gotta humble himself. And not a come not don't come against GMS, starting with the elders, man. Go ahead, huh? I mean, that means you stiffening your neck, man. You, you brutish, man. In other words, you a stupid ass niggas 
to come against the elders, man. You know those brothers have the truth. Go ahead. It says, as many as I love, I rebuke mm. and chasten. Mm -hmm. Be zealous, therefore, uh -huh. and repent. And be what? Be zealous. Keep going out on the highways and byways. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Because really and truly, when I find, uh, when I, and it's truth, you can't please everybody. Because when you try to please everybody, that leads to failure, man. That leads. The failure. Do the best you possibly could do in this work, man. And don't try to please everybody. Some brothers gonna hate you, and some brothers gonna love you. Okay. Then I saw, like brother said, I saw you going off some of the pocket flame true, brother. And he, and he going against the Hebrew. You going against the Hebrew? Your what? Your 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 name is Hebrew, brother. Isaiah. And he, he probably ain't saying the name of the most sign anymore because you ain't even saying the name anymore. What, anyway. what, 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 what's, his, what's his name? Yeah. Well, anyway, go ahead, Art. The next page. Six. Yeah. So we go into the root word of that root, mm -hmm. of that word. Mellow? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To be about. To what, Art? To be about. Okay, the, we in uh, Mellow. So we going. To the root word of the other word, we just uh, Timelios. So we're going to the root word of that. Okay. So now we're going to Mellow. G. Alright, so read. G. Thirty-one ninety-five. Yeah. G. Thirty-one ninety-five. Go ahead. Read that again. To be about. Come on. To be on the point of doing or suffering Ooh. something. And then we just talk about present your body as a what? As a living sacrifice. Yeah. All right. You, you got more on that, um, yeah. brother? Go ahead. To intend, uh -huh. having in mind, to think to. Okay, what you have in mind? It's truth, man. Yeah. Then you how should I say, let my, let, just say, let my mind be in you? Something like that? So our mind always going to be meditating about your how, why your how, shy, the works, and so on. That's truth. Even when you're working, you're thinking about the truth, man. That's right. Yeah, but I know brother's like, damn, what's up? When brother Bacar going to send that text for us to do the work? <laughs> I ain't get no text. I ain't get no text. I I miss a lot of scriptures we could bring up. Yeah, brothers want to bring out scriptures pertaining to this um, topic. Hey, bring it out. Bring it out. And we'll go over it. Okay? James 5 and 10. Yeah, go ahead, Doc. Take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord mm. for an example of suffering, affliction. Suffering what, up? Affliction. Uh huh. And of patience. That's right. So, so now this word where affliction is trouble. Yeah. Afflicted and what distress? <laughs> distress, man. So now going back to first, um, first Timothy six verse nineteen, it said foundation against the the time to come. Okay, so now we going to G. Let me see. Oh, we just read G. Yeah, because the breakdown we just it said the time to come. We just broke that down. That was thirty one ninety five, and that means. To be on point of doing or suffering or something. So that's what that meant. In other words, be circumspect. And we're gonna, we gonna have to suffer in this truth, man. Okay? That said, laying up the store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come. We broke that down, right? That they may lay hold on. So now we're gonna look at word, words may lay hold on. Okay, that's G1949. So let's see what they got to say. Yep. Okay. Now you can read for um, how you got Epi Lamba Nomi. Yep. To take in. Read it again. Pronounce it again. Epi Lamba Nomi. Uh -huh. To take in addition, to lay hold of, uh -huh. take possession of, mm -hmm. 
over 10, a 10, a 10 too, to lay hold of or to seize upon anything with the hands. It's like a woman, right? You lay hold on that woman, right? A nice young virgin, and what you do with that woman? You make what? You make sweet love to her. You humble her, right? So now, when you come to truth, you seize this truth, man. You hold on to this knowledge, man, and don't let her go. And we're gonna prove it to you out the scriptures. Now, give me Ecclesiasticus, Ecclesiasticus six, Ecclesiasticus the Six twenty-three through twenty-nine. Ecclesiasticus chapter six verse twenty-three. Give ear, my son. Receive my advice. That's Re right. Refuse not my counsel. Come on. And put thy feet into her fetters. Mm. And thy neck into her chain. So what, what fetters? Fetters is what you put in your ankles and, like you know, like handcuffs. Just like, um, what was another word of saying? Because um, Paul said, I'm a prisoner of what? Of Mashiach. We like prisoners. And what prisoners wear? Chains. They wear no chains. <laughs> Change on the ankle, change on a on a wrist. So we are prisoners of who? Of Yahweh, Yahweh shot. And he just read about the what? About the fetters. Go ahead, Art. Verse 24. Put thy feet into her fetters hey. and thy neck into her chain. Ooh. Bow down thy shoulder and bear her, and be not grieved with her bonds. Uh-huh. Come unto her with thy whole heart hmm. and keep her ways with all thy power. And he's talking about a physical woman that's talking about wisdom. Okay? Just like if you got a nice car, damn, isn't that car a beauty? She's a beauty, ain't she? Damn, she's a beauty. She's shining. So Yahweh will call wisdom her. She. Go ahead. Search and seek, and she shall be made known unto thee. Hmm. And you when said what? Search and seek. That part of searching is what to study. Seek. Look up words. But niggas don't want to search. Niggas just want to watch DVD. I had a nigga in the camp, he dropped out. He said, I gotta rock back. In other words, he gotta get away from the truth. But at the same time, he come to my house. Oh, I need a DVD. But he don't want to come out of highways and byways. He don't want to serve the Lord. But he just want this knowledge. Man, you gotta search, man. You gotta seek, man. Not really lazy. Lazy motherfucker. And the most I don't like lazy niggas. You, be fed. you know? Well, go ahead, Al. Search and seek, and she shall be made known unto thee. And when thou hast got hold of her, let her not go. Yeah, don't let her go, man. You ever been a young man, and you had a first dance with a beautiful young lady, and you just whining on, on that ass, you just whining, you can't let her go? That's how, that, that's how you gotta do with the truth. <laughs> that's how you gotta be with the truth, man. And the most I say, you gotta fill her breasts. And we're gonna read that scripture too. You got more? For at the last thou shalt find her rest, and that shall be turned to thy joy. That's right. Turn to what? To that joy. joy. That rest is what? This truth right here. This knowledge. That kingdom. We're going to have joy at the end of this thing, man. One more. That's 29? No, 29. Okay, go ahead. Then shall her fetters be a strong defense for thee. Mm. That's right. And her chain a robe of glory. That's right. A robe? A robe of glory. A robe of glory, man. Beautiful man. Give me Proverbs, um, Proverbs 5, 18 to 19. Proverbs 5. Somebody. Uh, yeah, 18 to 19. I want Ariadne to do that. Proverbs 5, 18 to 19. Come on. Let thy fountain, let thy fountain be blessed. Come on, and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. You rejoice with thy wife of thy youth. Come on, mm -hmm. let her be as a loving hind mm -hmm. and pleasant roe. Mm -hmm. Let her breast satisfy. Let her thee. what? Let her breast. Yeah, let her breast satisfy thee, man. Suck it on them breasts, man. <laughs> Which is that knowledge? Exactly. Playing with them titties, man. So I want the knowledge. Are we that again, man? Let her breast satisfy thee mm. at all times, uh -huh. and be thou ravish always mm. with yeah. your love. Always Reaching. ravish. No word for ravish is great, man. Ah. Tap that ass. Tap that ass. Get in that knowledge. Get in that knowledge. Tap it. Get in that knowledge. Get in it. Get in it. Get in deep. 
know what I'm saying? It ain't sexual, brothers. It's all spiritual, brothers. Spiritual, man. Alright? So, um, yeah. So now, we go on to the last one. Now we at the last section right here. It say, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come. That they may lay hold on. That means what? We just read that earlier. It means to take hold of. Right? It means to lay, lay hold of. Okay? To cease. Right? It's an internal life. So let's look up the word life. All right, let's read the next page there, brother. Life. Do it. Do it. The word light? G G22, 22. So what's the word in Greek, brother? Zoe. Go ahead. The state of one who is possessed of vitality, who is animate, who is animate every living soul. Mm. Life. That's right. <laughs> of the absolute fullness of life, both essential and ethical, mm -hmm. which belongs to Yahweh, and through him both to the hip. Hypostatic, hypostatic, Hypos that means, hypostatic. hypostatic means of fundamentals, okay? Yeah, I was going to take us to the basic fundamentals, man, that the world cannot get. It's so, it's so simple to us, it's fundamental, it's so simple to us, but niggas out here can't understand John 3.16. Such a something so deep. Yeah. So that they know not, that they know not, that they know not. And it's right there in front of them. Yeah. And when we show them, nah, nah. <laughs> Simple, please. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. What? Logos and to Mashia in whom. Yeah, logos means a principle of, of govern or develop on earth. Govern to develop on earth. Okay? Yeah, because we are we are the go government of Yahweh Yahweh Shah. Go ahead, uh. Go ahead. To whom the logos put on human nature. Put a human's put on what? Human late nature. Right. Yeah, because we are angels in these bodies. Go ahead. Life, real and genuine. That's right. A life active and vigorous. Yeah, vigorous means strong, robust, active. Go ahead. Devoted to Yahweh. We are what, brother? Devoted to Yahweh. That's what religion means. Religion means what? Devoted to who? To Yahweh. That's what the word cult means. It goes back to a latter word called cultus means to worship or praise the Most High. Devotion. Go ahead, Art. In a portion, even in this world of those who put their trust in Mashiach. That's right. So we do put our trust in Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man. 100%. Okay. okay, not in man. In Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. You can lock it off there, brother. We're on page 9. So name this video once again. It's um, GMS Institution System of Truth. Now we're gonna give you the understanding, the meaning of the word institution. We did a wrong with the lock book. Do we read one? Institution. Go ahead. Right. Word noun. Word origin noun. An organization, establishment, foundation, society, or the like. Devoted to promotion of a particular cause or program. Especially one of a public hmm. educational or Especially what? Especially what? one of, of a public. public. So, gym is institution, what we do? We go in the highways and byways. Huh. Right up. We in the public. Right. Educational. Uh -huh. so what, what we do, we educate people. We bring forth that information. Go ahead. Characterable character. Mm -hmm. This college is the best institution of its kind. GMS camps is the what? That's the best institution of its kind, man. GMS growing all over the world, man. It's the best. Starting with Yahweh Yahusha, using the apostles, Elder Tahar, Gabar Rakar, and Yemla. Go ahead. Right. Um, the building devoted to such work. Isn't the people the building out? That's right. We are the what? We are. That's right. That's right. That's right. If, um, jump down to five, right? Five. And you establish law, custom, etc. Mm, the law and customs. Or well, we teach out that we teach the laws. The customs. 
jump down to seven by the way, we're locked up. And the act of instituting or setting up establishment, the institution, institution of, law. of laws. The law. Alright, so institution of law. Okay? So so your brothers, I hope your brothers been edified from this video. This is um GMS Institution, System of Truth, the breakdown of 1 Timothy 6, verse 19. All that information come out of just one verse. This, your brothers can't say, man, there's no topic. I, I don't know what to talk about. You got one verse, and look at all these pages, just one verse. And I have to narrow it down. Alright? Uh, once again, for your GMS camps out there, I love your brothers. That love ain't going nowhere. Right. Your brothers, some of your brothers hate me, and that's between you and, and the Lord. Between you and your Hawaii, your Hawaii Shai. But I pray for each and one of your brothers, and I love each and one of y'all. We, we all love y'all, man. Right. You know, right. We all love y'all, starting with our elders, starting with your Hawaii, your Hawaii Shai. So, at the end of the day, we give all praises to your Hawaii, your Hawaii Shai. Much love to each and one of y'all. Shalom, Barakatah. Shalom. Shalom.